what's up guys Anthony finally got me a vlogging camera well, it's not a camera it's uh, an old iPhone I have an iPhone I have the iPhone 6 6 plus actually I just uploaded a video for you guys how to perform a modified pendulum row um, and I actually got my hands on uh, an older iPhone so I could video this stuff and edit all right. my edits of my uh, footage right on my phone because iMovie is a lot easier to use um, on the phone. It takes a lot of time to upload it to a computer and then edit it. It's too much work. So I was able to get an old iPhone and here we go. Now I could start vlogging more. And uh, So right now it's about, what time is it, 10.30, uh, getting some online work done, answering some client emails. And uh, that's it. So I don't know how I'm going to do this. I really want to get more into YouTube and show you guys my life and start vlogging a lot more. But uh, we'll see. So I'll try to start tomorrow. All right, guys. Check in the morning. So, so far, vlogging day one, terrible. I forgot to pick up the camera in the morning. Uh, so I missed my whole pre-workout regimen. Which is not that exciting anyway. I walk the dogs and just kind of get in the zone and stuff. But still, it was a fail on the morning stuff. Ne nevertheless, I'm still trying to complete it here. So, training here. This is a kind of a deload on squats still. Uh, just going higher rep. This is light, 195. It's really, really light. So my hip has been killing me uh, when I was going super, super heavy. So, I'm kind of going backwards to build up again. But I should be fine with one light day and one heavy day of squats. Moving on to some bench press. Uh, again, kind of a deload week after uh, PRing last week. So I just kind of took it easy. And uh, what I did on these later sets, this first set was just kind of going. But um, it's not that heavy either. It's like 205 or something like that for six reps. What I was doing was I was pausing everyone like an inch above my chest. Uh, moved on to some deadlifts. I actually supersetted the bench in these uh, to kind of save time. Uh, one thing with my deadlifts, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to focus on pushing through the floor and pulling at the same time and pulling the slack out of the bar early on. Um, if you look up Eric Littlebridge, Littlebridge, something like that on YouTube, uh, this guy's an absolute monster. He deadlifts uh, over 900 pounds. He's just a beast. But the way he pulls the slack out of the bar, he like warms up at 405. And the slack that the way he pulls the bar, it's ridiculous, literally ridiculous. And I want to learn to deadlift like that because I think that's what's limiting me and holding me back. He pulls so much slack out of the bar and he's pushing through the floor and pulling. You can actually see it in the video. So uh, YouTube him and I'm sure you'll find the video. It's not that hard to find. Um, like I said, some shoulder presses. I also realized why I hate seated shoulder presses. So we'll be going back to standing. Uh, they just don't feel right seated. I actually like standing more. I actually feel a little more in my delts also. And uh, just finishing up with some curls. For some reason, I feel curls so much more not standing in a bent over position. So any direction I pretty much move my bicep, I feel it more in the hanging position than I do standing. For whatever that reason is, I don't know. But it's working for me. I'm sticking with it. You don't like it, change the channel. Um, that's it. I mean, training is not complex at all. Uh, this workout probably took me over an hour, a little over an hour to complete, but it wasn't so bad. Deadlifts was kind of brutal today, but I guess because Saturday I went for 525, and it's only Monday, so 395 just kind of felt heavy, plus my hand's killing me from ripping it open, but no complaints, and that's it. Actually, I ended one more exercise and moved on some pendulum rows. My back was shot at this point. Probably went a little too heavy, but whatever. I still feel the contraction in my back. And that's that. Uh, comment below if you have any questions about my routine or anything like that or how I have it structured. And I'll gladly explain it in, uh, I guess, tomorrow's video since I'm going to be trying to be doing this daily. So today, it's officially booked. Arnold Classic 2015. I'm going to be there. I'm actually taking my brother-in-law on his uh, bachelor party. So it's going to be me and a couple guys. So I'll be able to take you guys along with me and you guys can see the expo. I've been to the Arnold Classic a hundred times. It's great. It's probably one of the best expos ever. I've been to the Olympia too, but nothing 
beats the Arnold. So be sure to check out for that footage. Hopefully one of my friends is competing in a powerlifting meet in Ohio, so I'll be able to watch him. Uh, we spoke a little bit about it today, and he was uh, unsure if he's actually going to go through with it. You know, a lot of the sports, it's all mental, and uh, he doesn't feel like he's into it, but I hope he snaps in, and I hope he does it, because it'd be really cool to go down there and root for him and see the powerlifting stuff. I'm super excited to see all that. So, all right, guys, check you guys in the morning, and we'll see how the day goes tomorrow. All right, guys, so getting ready for bed, and I decided to make my pre-workout stuff for tomorrow. Uh, I'm not taking any supplements right now, any supplements, any stimulants right now, um, because... I'm tapering uh, this week, and I'm testing later on in the week, so I'll use a stimulant-based uh, pre-workout then. But this is what I usually do every night. I come in my supplement cabinet here, all my goodies, and I'll take out all my stuff that I use for tomorrow. So got some branch chain amino acids here. Uh, this is by Muscle Sport. But I also have uh, some All American branch chain amino acids. B drive, these are awesome. So I'm using some B drive. This is a uh, All American EFX's branched chain amino acids. It also has zoom in uh, some HBM in it, so it's a really good product. Also, also I got in here some acidophilus, stomach digestion, good stuff. Got some joint stuff, joint rehab. Take that at night. Raspberry ketones. This is for tomorrow. So this is pretty much what I do. So I'll pull out all my stuff that I'm going to be using. Uh, some eye rush, which is uh, pretty much a carbohydrate, a GDA, glucose disposing agent. Um, fish oil. Creatine. And I had these, so I've been eating them. And using it at night. I also have on the days that I work at home, I have a packet of tea that I mix with my pre-workout. Uh, tea has its own uh, its own type of kind of like caffeine, so I use that. And I throw one of these in there. Once again, this box probably lasts me so long I've had it. Got it from the gym. But the funny thing is, so this is how I pretty much set it up. I'll show you the funny thing. Anything I use for tomorrow pre-workout. I stick over here and I kind of make two piles and I put all my ingredients for my pre-workout in um, like I said if I was using caffeine based stuff I would be using some of these I usually regulate my caffeine so I use some Crioclin Hardcore um, in three tablets there is 180 180 milligrams of caffeine so depending on the workout I'll use one you know on the harder workouts I'll use either three or I'll use some freak maker EFX is freak maker product and I'll use about half half to three quarters of a scoop but anyway so set up my pre-workout stuff there and then I set up the stuff that I'm gonna take before bed so I usually take, just put the B drive and stuff back. This is the good stuff. I also use some B pump. Uh, this is not caffeine based, but tomorrow's workout's so simple. It's a taper, like I said, I'm not even gonna waste it. But it has beta alanine in it, uh, agnamine sulfate, those things. So I use this stuff before bed. You take these some fish oil, take four of those. Take two GDAs, uh, one digestive time tablet. Acidophilus, to rehab, and I usually take nine of these. Uh, beef amino acids are really good. Uh, pretty much, you get all the good stuff from beef without the calories in it. But the thing is, do this with one hand. I open the cap. Right, T. Sit. They love them. I don't know why. Right, Rock? See it? This is Rocky. So I share my supplements with the dogs. Alright, 
so like I said, put all the supplements in there for tomorrow, put it aside, and then I take all my nightly supplements.